So what movies of 2020 are hot and not? Well I'll tell you. My hair. It looks so hot doesn't it? Or not? Comments below and let's talk about some movies of 2020. and you better find out more about me because I'm a cosplayer so while you're watching best to just subscribe right we're going to talk about cosplay very later in some upcoming videos but first what movies are hot and not of 2020 do you know do I know nobody knows we haven't been out yet <laughs> well Mulan's out but we're going to talk about that later let's start by talking about Venom Venom 2 now is this movie hot or not well, you all know it. It is hot, but I'm not seeing it. No, I'm not seeing it. I haven't seen the first Venom movie. I know Venom is to do with Spider-Man, but it's not my movie because it's a bit horror and it's just... No, I'm not seeing Venom. No, no, no. I'm not, you know, into that kind of spidey world. Nope, nope. Let's move on to Doolittle. This is Dr. Doolittle. Now we all may know what Dr. Doolittle. Back in my childhood, there was something to do with Eddie Murphy being Dr. Doolittle, looking after animals, literally talking to them. But when you search on Google by saying, who plays Dr. Doolittle? The cast of Dr. Doolittle includes Rex Harrison, Anthony Newley, and 12 others. Um, this is back in 1967. This year, 2020, Eddie Murphy's not playing Dr. Doolittle. No, it's back in my childhood. No, it's Robert Downey Jr. as Dr. Doolittle with animals that literally talk to him. Now, I don't know if I'm going to see it or not because it sounds like um, Robert Patrick Jr.'s voice sounds so much different to when he's like Iron Man or Sherlock. So, I don't know if it's hot or not. You can comment below and pick yourself if you think Dr. Doolittle is hot or not because I'm not sure. What is Harley Quinn's new movie? The first two are The Suicide Squad and Batman vs Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay. I have five answers in total. <laughs> I have one, and that's Birds of a Prayer. That's Harley Quinn's movie 2020. Now, I am totally going to see it, but I cannot see it alone. I'm going to have to bring my boyfriend with me. Birds of a Prayer is going to be hot. Harley Quinn, come on. It's Joker's, well, ex-lover. <laughs> She's battling that with some badass Yes, badass woman's. Okay, next up is Onwards, not Upwards. It's Onwards, Pixar's new movie, Onwards. Now we all know who is in Onwards, the Pixar movie. Tom Holland, he is playing as an elf and he's looking for his father with this magical wand. I am so confused what is happening in this movie. They go everywhere to get the other half of his father back. I am so confused about this movie. Not more confused as I am about Soul, the other Pixar movie that's coming out. So, Pixar, you're literally confusing me this year. Inside Out, yes, I cosplay as Joy. That makes sense. But this one doesn't. And the other one doesn't. I think the only movie that makes sense from Pixar is Incredibles 2. So, onwards, is it hot or not? It's not hot. Let's move on to the next hottest movie. Free Guy with Ryan Reynolds. Yes, he's Deadpool, so this is going to be an awesome movie with action that's inspired by games. I mean, it's a guy that always sticks to the plot, but for one day, he will not stick to the plot of the game. He will literally do his own thing and just, you know, go on a motorbike, just, just wreck on an adventure and just have the best time ever in this movie. I mean, in the trailer, I love it. Have you seen that? bit where she's on the motorbike with Ryan Reynolds and she takes the guns out of his balls. It is so cool. I am gonna love this movie so much. I cannot wait to see it. And it's got Stranger Things cast in it, so that's gonna be more better with this, this movie. Free guy. I cannot wait. Now, you may have noticed there's a little guy behind me and he's a minion. Yes, he's got a new movie coming out. It's called The Rise of Groot. Groot is his master and we must follow him. He is our evil genius villain who rocks this world. We do not need to watch it. It is not hot, guys. This movie is not hot. I'll tell you why. One, we didn't need another Minion movie. Two, we don't need it. Three, 
I don't need to know how Groot was born, okay? I mean, you got children and you got nothing to do, go and see the Minions movie, but me, I'm not see it. Yes, I'm a fan of Minions, but I do not need another Minion movie. Moving on, guys. To Wonder Woman! Yes, this trailer looks amazing. I so want to see it. I gasped when I saw the movie trailer. It was awesome. Wonder Woman is going to be so great. She's back, and you know who is back. I'm not saying who, but just look at the trailer. It's, it's just wrecking amazing. I love it. Hot. I really do. I just cannot wait to see it. It's going to be another great DC movie this year. I think DC know what they're doing now. Do we? Do we? Are they getting better than Marvel? We don't know, but I think Wonder Woman... DC have got it under the belt, so this is gonna be awesome, guys. Now, are you a James Bond fan? Well, I am sadly not. I mean, yes, this film is gonna be hot, but I am not a fan of James Bond. I'm sorry, I haven't seen all the films. It's just such a long action movie. It's always not same with the storyline as in the next movie sometimes. And we always wonder, is it the same James Bond that's playing the same James Bond? Or is it not the person playing James Bond? Is it a new person? We do not know, okay? I just can't keep up, okay? If you like James Bond, good for you. Wear a suit when you see it, but I'm not seeing it. I can wait. Next up is the Wayne The Rock Johnson. He's in a new Disney movie to do with the jungle again. He's been in a lot of movies to do with the jungle. I mean, he's been in The Rundown, Jumanji, Moana. And now he's in Disney's new movie, Jungle Cruise. In this movie, he looks like Popeye. Does he look like Popeye? It's not cool, guys. But this movie is hot, and I'll tell you why. It's got a female representing Indiana Jones. It's an action movie where she is looking for something in the jungle and she needs The Rock's help. So she goes on a cruise to find the right thing that she wants in life. Next. The hot movie from Disney this year is Mulan. I've been waiting for this movie forever, but I think I can wait until it comes out. So I'm not seeing it, guys. I'm not seeing Mulan in the cinema. It's it's about war in China and it's just got a lot of action in it and I don't think I can take it. I mean, if I see it with somebody, I think it'll be fine. But I'm not seeing Mulan in 4DX with the chairs and moving with the movie. Nah, nah, I just I don't, I can't. I mean, I love Mulan. I've seen the first one, I've seen the second one, I've got the doll. I love Mulan, but I just, I don't, I don't think I can see my Disney princess in a live action movie. I've been waiting so long for it, but I just think because the movie, and I have the music in it, I can't see it. I, I don't know. Um, I'll get back to Mulan on my Instagram about what I think about the movie later. I think we should just move on to the next movie, which is Who Are You Gonna Call? Ghostbusters! So Ghostbusters is coming out, guys, and it's gonna come at the same time as Epcon is on in Glasgow. And I cannot wait to see Ghostbusters straight after the Comic Con event. It's gonna be so good. They're on on the same month and it's so good like they just cross corners I'm literally gonna have a Ghostbuster sitting beside me when I'm watching the movie Ghostbusters it is the best movie back in the 80s and it's just gonna be great watching it in a whole new setting with children taking down ghosts I cannot wait I cannot tell you how excited I am for this. I could see it in the 4DX. I'm, I know I'm going to see it anywhere else. So I just, I'm just too excited to see it. <laughs> so it's right now hot. But we all know what's not. It's Sonic. Sonic is not hot. Two trailers came out. We had to wait so long for Sonic. We are not seeing it. It is not hot, guys. We are not seeing Sonic. I mean, I like the colour blue, but I'm not seeing Sonic. Moving on to Black Widow. Black Widow's gonna be so great. I am gonna see it when my boyfriend can't see it alone because it looks scary. I know I just said that. It's a Marvel movie. It's gonna be so great. Cannot wait to watch it. It's gonna be the first female Marvel movie. Just based off a female. It's gonna be so great. I cannot wait to see it. We've been asking for this movie for so long. Based on from Ellen DeGeneres. But I just cannot wait for this. Like, this is gonna make history, guys. We have to see it. Okay, Black Widow? Hot. Let's do this. If you're an X-Men fan, you must be seeing the new horror film called The New Mutants. But because it's terrible and horrible and they're not in the hospital, they are getting tortured in that movie. Yeah. So I am not seeing it. I mean, if it wasn't them getting tortured and it was them, you know, saving Earth, I would see it. But now nah, they're just getting tortured, so I'm not seeing... 
It, it's not so right. They should not get tortured. We're all still human. They just have powers. The next movie we're talking about is I Still Believe. It's a Christian film with music on a true story. Of course, it's a Christian story based on a true story. Now, in my list, there's no musical this year. But that is the only musical I'm going to talk about. It's not a musical, but it's got music in it. So does it count? You guys can judge yourselves, but I'm saying it's hot this year, especially if you're a Christian, so it's a hot film, romantic. There's not many Christian films out there, so it's hot. Next movie we're looking at is Scoob, and it's not hot, guys. I'll tell you why. We've already got a lot of movies based about Scoob meeting the gang, like how they met. Why do we need another one? Why do we need this movie to come out in May when it's got Halloween clip in it? Why do we need this movie? I don't know. Is Scoob just cool for the kids? Well, it's not for us adults, but if you're a kid, go and see Scoob. <laughs> yeah, that's the end, guys. That's the end of our list of 2020 movies. I hope you like it. Um, so did you comment below and say this film was hot or not? Well, please do it now so we can agree on something. Like, if you didn't subscribe, we can agree on a movie that we say is hot or not. But please do subscribe so you can see my hair change a lot, I can cosplay a lot, and create more content than just on other channels. I mean, I've been on BBC The Social, I've been on Toon Speak, I've been on other channels. So go and check them out, guys. Before I go and see a movie this year. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching. It's been hot, but I have to go. I'm sorry. But give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Oh, and remember, it's the memories who make us. So go there and make some good memories and not some bad memories this year of 2020.